Okay, so before we go any further, let me just do a little room tour for you. Sit while I do a room tour more. I'm just going to open the door and start with you from when I'm opening the door. So, I'll be coming out from here into here. Welcome, and this one is called the Westminster Suit. And you would come straight in. Let me try and switch on the light so that I don't like it. That's better. I prefer that. But maybe those lights will be okay. Not too bad. So we would start from here. This is like the coffee station. I'm going to now show you so you won't be seeing me in the picture. So this is the coffee station. And the mini bar over there. And on to my left, you have a little table where you can dine and eat. And with four chairs, of course, my little handbag is there with me. Uh, and you have a light on top of that. The thing that I really like about this building is these here, the cornices. I don't know if you can see them it's something that i always admire on old buildings and mo sleeps here they make a little bed this is kind of like your sitting area so i will go a little further out so you can see we've just we've just been swimming so i'm hanging these to dry because we want to go again later this evening and the nice thing about this place is they have a, a Dyson fan here, so that really is useful. The only thing that I didn't particularly like is we're very close to the road, which can be noisy at times, but hey-ho, we'll go outside and you will see the rest of the place beautifully. I'm just going to take you through to the bedroom. So this is the bedroom as I'm coming in from the sitting area and lounge. Again, ignore those swimming costumes that I just put over there because we are, we've just come from swimming and we're going to go back again. So that's the bed and it's massive. I don't think this does it justice. It's really big. I'll get you closer. I mean, I really like it. And there is kind of a television over there, dressing table over there. Again, if you look at the top, what I was talking about, I genuinely love it. And the curtains are divine. They're very luxurious. Let's see if you can see them better. Oh, there. I think here you can see them way better. Oh, there. I think we're getting there. There we go find the rice there we go so the curtains are absolutely gorgeous and I can see that the color scheme is all in one it encompasses everything a wardrobe I think suitcases can be over here of course I had to get a steamer and we have a mirror outfit of the day shorts top this vintage find gucci scarf h&m hand shorts oh these are from kurt gerger let me show you the bathroom sorry for the noise uh just take a look at that so that's the bathroom I love 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 the doorknobs I love everything old but my spirit is old I think all of you know that by now and that's me so it's a really nice place to do my skincare stuff and there's the bathroom like I said everything is robust and old school you know like this is what I grew up in I grew up in an old school house our home growing up looked very English, even though it was in Africa, but my parents bought it from an English couple who were going to live in a retirement home. So I love everything old and English. 
I have to say like you know English furniture that's what I'm trying to say um I do love African stuff as well I really do but I'm just talking about the things I love in interior designs I love a nice mix of English and African and just look at this tiling my goodness the details those are the type of things I live for so now I will take you out so now I will just take you out let's go let's go well Open the door. Ooh, he gave us this. Thank you. Come, come, come. So this is where you would practice. Hmm. Interesting. Come on. Let's see if we can catch. You don't look that impressed with me, Mo. Come, let's keep walking. Of course, we have to stop and admire the greenery you can tell it's almost spring the colors are starting to come out and everything is simply beautiful and we will All of a sudden it's freezing and I'm wearing shorts. That was a good idea, wasn't it? Honey woo.
look at this little space here. I think it's a place where people would be practicing. And they have a fleet of club cars over here. And it's about to rain. So I think I'll have to finish this tour sometime tomorrow. Maybe I should show my face while I'm doing this. Mm. Uh, just showing you around the golf course. This is Forest Pine in Scanthorp, and it's a beautiful, beautiful place. You have your spa, you have your swing pools, you have everything. I'm going to ask if they will show us the spas and everything else at the same time. I just love to try things when I see a nice angle and I think it's working. I go for it and try it so I just thought I would try this one because I saw it here and I thought ah, oh, that looks nice so maybe let me take a picture of this I always think for every vlog that I do I should come up with a skincare something that is beneficial and of value to you and since I haven't done a proper sit down review because I think that's kind of old school and I want to find my own style of doing these things. Of, we're not just talking about skincare, we're going through life together. So I, I, I thought this is a kind, my kind of way of doing things. So whereby we have a vlog and in between I put in some, some skincare, some makeup, whatever. My love really lies with skincare. And the one thing that I introduced and you've seen me using in the previous videos that you have been watching if you've been following me here is going to be this the product that I'm going to be talking about and I've really loved this I used to use the pixie glow tonic I've moved on from that I don't use it anymore I am currently using this one it's called medic 8 and it's press and glow this stuff has changed my life I mean I've used it up to about there I haven't been a um, exfoliating much and ever since I use this I've really seen a difference in my skin I've been religiously using sunscreen of course but like uh, I had hyperpigmentation and the hyperpigmentation is usually on my right side of my cheek that's because of breakouts that I get there and also I don't know what causes the breakouts specifically on the right side of my cheek but that's the area that I know I had the most hyperpigmentation that I had to deal with so vitamin C alone does not cut it. So I would use a combination of exfoliation, a vitamin C, and I'd also use a retinol at the same time. It's been debated that retinol and vitamin C pretty much do the same thing. So you could literally cut out the vitamin C from your routine and stick to retinol if you do not um, tolerate vitamin C very well, and you'd probably still get the same results. But because I love skincare, I enjoy this, 
I like to use a vitamin C during the day and then at night I use my retinol. However, the game changer that I did add onto the entire routine was this Press and Glow Daily Exfoliating PHA Tonic with Enzyme Activator. I think what I'll do is write a full blog post about this. I'll write about the ingredients, what they do, what they serve, the purpose they serve and why it wor works so well because it's, it's absolutely divine. I'm not very good and articulate in, in saying what I want to say. I'm good in writing it down better than I am at speaking to you face to face. That's why you see me trying not to do as much reviews face to face. Maybe because English is not my first language. Um, is it not? It's, it's not my first language per se. I learned another language that I learned English. So it's not my mother tongue, if that makes sense. But I know what I want to say and I'll say it better if I'm writing it. So I'll do a dedicated blog, blog post for why this is amazing. I'll just read what it says at the back. This is not your uh, green skincare or anything like that. This is proper science backed stuff. So if you are into natural beauty, maybe this is not for you. But if you are into skincare that works, yes. This is it. Um, here it says a uh, polyhydroxide toner for high performance daily exfoliation, but without the irritation, I can attest to that. There's no irritation at all. I've been using it almost daily, maybe skipping one or one or two days here and there, but I have not had any um, side effects at all or irritation with it. And I have sensitive skin. Believe me when I say I have sensitive skin. Um, it helps to exfoliate a lot of dead skins, boost natural glow and refine the skin, which it has done. And it literally has, I wouldn't say get rid of my texture, but I've seen the texture has significantly reduced. I shall try and come close. I'm wearing makeup, but I think when I'm wearing makeup, you tend to see my texture a little bit more than when I'm not. Anyway, I'm going to come close. And if I do take off makeup, at any part of this vlog I'll also show you my skin at the same time this is the problem area mostly my right side and cheek so it definitely has helped with the texture on that side of my cheek not completely gone but it has definitely done something to it yeah, infused with prickly pear extract to support skin's natural exfoliation process. Aloe vera and smooth, soothe the complexion. Visibly brighter, smoother, less dull skin. Simply press and glow. And I think that's what it did for me. I simply pressed and I did, I did glow. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to try and write a blog post. And if I do, I will link it down on this video as well. So that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, probably we're going to continue with the vlog where I will be showing you rooms at the spa. Anyway, as I'm here, I might as well do a vlog. No, it's not a vlog. I've just been filming uh, some outfit in scores for Instagram. So let me just show you them since I have been filming them and they're here so I might as well share with you for those of pe those people that don't follow me over on Instagram and let me show you the nail that I've just done properly now because I think this is way better quality so that's what I've done and because I'm wearing black you can kind of see the nails much better and I just did them today all this is being taken today today's a Friday it's the 17th so I'm not sure when this 17th of February I'm not sure when this is going to go up but yeah I hope you enjoy the content and I really hope you enjoy the effort that I am trying to make to be present for you as much as I can as you can see there is a lot a lot of rubbish over here because that's where I've been trying to film and stuff taking advantage of the location that I'm at